My name is Larry Grunberger, and this is a tow tractor. It's a D19. It was used at the proving grounds on the test track to load down tractors. Here you see just one tow tractor, but as the tractors got bigger and bigger, it took more tow tractors to pull the load, on the, pull the load down on the pulling tractor. You were in charge of the proving grounds? Yes, for the last five years. Okay, where was the proving grounds located? It was located in Franksville, Wisconsin. Okay. Which is south of Milwaukee. Okay. And, and north of Union Grove. Union Grove. I suppose the proving grounds closed when Deutsch bought them out? Yes. It was, it was, it was purchased by someone else. Okay. And this is a very, very, very neat piece of equipment. I'm surprised to see it survived. Well, I'm told that whoever purchased it didn't use it very much. Okay. And it was stored in a barn for about the last 12 to 15 years. Uh, but we took pretty good care of these tractors. Mm -hmm. And uh, now if you look at the tow tractor, you see that big con concrete weight. The reason for the weight is we didn't put fluid in the tires. Okay. Because we didn't want to get a leak on the track and spill that calcium chloride all over the track, which would, would just then mess up the traction for tractors. And oh, now good. these these tractors, they would run two different tests. One is called continuous heavy load. And continuous heavy load, the tractor would go round and round the test track on a specified load, pulling the pulling tractor down to rated speed. The other test was breakdown. On breakdown, the pulling tractor would be loaded again down to rated speed. And was, and, and with the tractor moving, the operator would push in the clutch, it would roll to a stop, and then he would just have the engine running at full speed, and he would just slip his foot off the clutch. The clutch would pop out. It would be a big jerk. The front wheels bounce a little bit, and the tractor would gradually pick the load up to full load. 30 seconds later, he pushed the clutch in and do it all over again. And for the big tractors, you'd get 60,000 of those pops was a, was a successful test. And you would run some cycles in every one of the gears. The same with continuous heavy load. The 1,200 hours was split up in segments for each gear. And the amount would depend on how much you operated that gear. How, how do you run this? You, you have to put the, you engage the transmission. Well, first of all, there's a valve on the exhaust system. So that makes the engine run like an air compressor. Okay. The engine actually rotates the powertrain. Uh, the load is, comes through the rear wheels, through the powertrain, to the engine. The transmission on the tow tractor you try to you set that so that the engine speed that the track that this tractor had when it was a real tractor you don't want to exceed that speed so you pick the gear on the tow tractor and then you match it to the speed on the pulling tractor and you can and then to get the finite load to zero it in there's a valve on the exhaust system and you just open and close that valve to get the load that you want. And if you have, the bigger the tractor, the more tow tractors it takes. Because one tow tractor will provide the load of about half of what it did as a pulling tractor. So it was a, it was a, un, it was un, it was very common that big tractors to have five or six tow tractors behind the pulling tractor.
you had, you could adjust the load with the valve, and then on this tractor, you had a high and low range, so you could use that too. And, and the operator that, op that was setting the load, he would go from tow tractor to tow tractor on this platform, and he'd set the load on, on each tow tractor. Very neat load. That, that's a picture of my actual, on the proving grounds, uh, pulling up. That's a that's a prototype 7000 series tractor pulling those six tow tractors. And if if you notice, none of the tow tractors have these dolly wheels because when you then we could transfer some of the front weight of the tow tractor on the pulling tractor. But when we didn't want that weight transfer, then we would put the dolly wheels on. Okay. Very neat. Well, thank you for sharing this with us. It's very, very, very nice. Well, I'm glad to, I'm glad to do it.